Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the BMW Blog YouTube channel. I'm actually in Spain today, uh, more exactly in Malaga, and I am test driving a, another new BMW. Let's take a look. So this is the second generation BMW 2 Series Active Tourer. The car was unveiled last fall. We had a chance to see the car before, and now is the first time that we actually get behind the wheel. That video review will be coming up, so I definitely encourage you to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for that video. Um, today, actually, I'm going to focus on the design of the car. Certainly an important part of any new BMW or of any new car in general. So let's kick it off right away. Front end, clearly a brand new design language for the Active Tour. Bolder and sportier than what you have seen on the first generation. And that starts really up front with this new large kidney grille. As you can see, it's got a nice 3D shape here. It's definitely nicely sculpted. It is quite tall and also quite wide. It kind of falls in line with the recent design you know, language from BMW, where you might have seen it on the, you know, three on the 4 Series, on the M3 and M4, iX and you know, the i4 as well. So they're trying to be consistent with that. It is not as large as on those cars. And for some reason, because the car is a little bit wider than before, it kind of just fits its character. Lower part, you can see right here, a more aggressive M Sport package. Gives the car that additional sportiness on the road. Going up close, you can see a new design of those headlights, new inner graphics as well. They look uh, certainly slicker than before. You can see a couple of creases on the hood as well. You know, going to the side. You can see larger wheels than before. So the idea here was really to emphasize the sportiness of the car. There is an electrify Electrified by BMW badge right there, which means this one it's a 230e plug-in hybrid and it makes about 326 horsepower. So continue with the design. Let me just walk around and show you the side view. That's probably the most interesting part on this car because it has been redesigned quite a bit. It resembles the design of a crossover more than ever before. It also sits a little bit higher from the ground. It's still got the ABC pillars, uh, typical to, let's say, a minivan. But compared to the first generation, you can see the rear end. It's got more of a um, coupe look. It's also not as upright as you might have seen on the first generation. So the rear end and especially the quarter view, it's quite attractive right now. Speaking of the rear, let's take a look at this. You can see immediately the very large taillights, they wrap around the car. And also they provide additional width to the rear design. So every time you see this, you know, nicely sculpted shape right there, that's actually meant to give some additional width when you see the car from behind. And compared to the first generation, once again, you can see right here, it is definitely wider a lot sportier than before. It's still got a lot of cargo space, a very generous uh, cargo opening as well. I believe the standard is 460 liters of cargo space. If you fold down the seats, the rear seats, uh, you're getting uh, another about a thousand extra liters. I think the overall um, cargo space is 1455 liters. I guess the most interesting thing here in the rear, it's definitely the diffuser. And for the first time on a non-electric BMW, there are no exhaust pipes. So right there, you can see they're hidden. I guess there are two reasons behind that. One, it makes the diffuser a lot wider than before, a lot cleaner too. And then second of all, according to BMW, they said that uh, it's meant to actually emphasize the width of the car from the back. You can also see this really nice roof spoiler right there with a couple of nice lines for aerodynamic purposes. And actually, according to the data provided by BMW, it's got a really nice um, aero drag coefficient 
which makes the car more fuel efficient and also sportier on the road. Inside, it's where the car has changed quite a bit. You have a brand new interior design with a very large LCD screen. There is also a iDrive 8 system embedded in there. And of course, uh, you are getting the latest and greatest uh, technology specs when it comes to driving assistant features and parking features. For the first time, BMW decided to remove the iDrive knob, so there is no more iDrive knob in the car. Basically, you operate the LCD screen uh, by voice or by touchscreen. M Sport package comes with M Sport seats. You can either get them in full leather or Sensatec or Alcantara with uh, leather wrapping around. Now let's step out and take a look at the car one, one more time. So when it comes to power options and drivetrain options, there are quite a few. It starts with a diesel variant 218D, about 136 horsepower. Then you can go to a 218i, a three cylinder with about 150 horsepower, or you can opt for a 220i, another three cylinder with 170. And if you move up to the four cylinder, that will be the 223i, it's going to give you about 206 horsepower. On top of that, there is a 225E and of course the 230 that you see here, which has 326 horsepower from a four cylinder engine coupled with an electric motor in the back. So it's an all wheel drive configuration. It is quite fast actually. I will have a review on that very soon. It has a boost mode, which makes it even more fun. So with that being said, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming up in the next few weeks and months. We have a pretty busy schedule and there will be a lot of surprises in store for you. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.